Welcome along to the latest episode of the Laura and Becky show. So we used to be radio presenters. We had our own breakfast radio show, but we got the sack. So what did we do? We flew off to Mallorca. We got very drunk. We contemplated life and thought, what the heck are we going to do? And we decided to start a podcast. We are now sponsored by Redbrick Estate Agents, the Summer Beach Club at Meadowhall. Why do I always think it's the Beach Summer Club? Anyway, it's not. <laughs> uh, and Twycross Zoo. We're not going to do any animal facts today. No. Like, people loved uh, parrot or carrot, by the way. Mm -hmm. So, but we can't. We can't can't do this every single day. We can't carry on with this. No. But But we are at Twycross Zoo tomorrow. Yes, we are. And we're very excited about it. We've got an influencer event there tomorrow, which we are giddy. We're taking our own kids as well. We never normally take our own kids along to these events. The 14-year-old is excited. Yeah. How many kids have we got coming tomorrow? 20. 20. I've not been around 20 quid quid 20 quid <laughs> 20 kids since a birthday party yeah i mean it's a lot of kids isn't it but we've got the indoor play area also adam said as well he's going to send the the mascot along kids love a mascot they do they, or they don't they, babe well, yeah, I I just, love they, scare, it. they scare me mascots i get a little bit freaked out by mascots and clowns what, those are my what? two things that i get scared of yeah i can't remember where i was once there was um they're very strict on you cannot see who is in the mascot. Yeah. You have to hide. It's, it's, it's really bad. That's what freaks me out, though. It's the fact there's this grinning creature walking around, right, waving its arms about. And you're like, who's in there? Who's underneath yeah. the mask? You don't know who it is. I don't like it. Clowns as well, same thing. I don't like their big smiling faces. Does anybody like clowns? No, I don't think kids do either, Is do that they? a thing of the past now? Can you get a clown? Imagine Can hiring I? a clown for a birthday party. I don't know. It makes me, you know, um, Ronald McDonald. <laughs> you know, it makes me think of him. You know, he's like ginger hair and his crazy face and that big smile he's got. Oh, no. Well, it's not Ronald McDonald. It's um, thingy, isn't it? Pennywise. Pennywise. I mean, that's the one you want to be scared of, mate. Pennywise. Yeah. Is he the original one? Oh, no. No. Yeah, he was no. the one from It. Oh. Who are you thinking? Pennywise oh, thought, was never in McDonald's. <laughs> I thought perhaps he was the original <laughs> Ronald McDonald. <laughs> yeah. Do you know yeah. what? There's this thing, actually, this viral thing going around on TikTok at the moment. And it is another um, mascot from McDonald's. But I didn't even know he was a thing. He's called Grimace. Have you seen this? He's this purple thing. I don't know when he was a mascot, but he was like year, like perhaps 50 years ago, right? And there's this thing that all the kids are watching, like Lily's obsessed with it. And um, they're doing these Grimace shakes to celebrate like 50 or 60 years of McDonald's or something like that. They're these purple shakes, right? So everyone's drinking them. And everyone's like, oh, I'm going to try a Grimace shake from McDonald's. I think this is an American thing. They try it and bad things happen. Okay, in the videos, every single one. So the whole point is people are scared of trying it, but they want to try it. And then bad stuff happens. Why? What happens? You'll have to watch or try one. Try I one ain't got to find time out. To watch it. Try, what do you mean? Where do you try get it from? Try a grimace shake. What from McDonald's? I don't know if they do them in the UK. Actually, well, how the hell am I supposed to? Well, <laughs> this is one watch, of your really pointless stories. Go and go and watch it. No, it's, this is a viral thing. What do you mate. mean? Hang on, hang on. So it's not true. I can't, I can't possibly tell you. You I have to find out for yourself. Listen, I ain't got time for this. Okay. I don't want to go and watch a video about my... So what happens Mate, you're to on them? TikTok constantly. What are you talking about? Right, go and watch it. See what happens. But just tell me. We'll, we'll come back next week. Is it superstitious? Is it ghostly? Do you turn into a monster? You no, grow worse. worse than that. You turn in... It's bad. Do you turn into something you... <laughs> um, that might have happened. Yes. It's just bad stuff, mate. Real bad stuff. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Well, if I've so got time. go and have a look today at Grimace Shakes. There's a little song as well. They go, um, happy birthday, Grimace. And it all seems really nice. And then it goes dark. Okay. Just go and watch that today. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm literally so confused. How have we gone from Twycross Zoo to <laughs> Grimace Shakes? I don't know what's going on. I don't even understand the concept. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> Hey, a good thing though. Go on. Weather today. How nice was it to wake up and it was sunny. sunny. Um, yeah, it's great. This, this. No, come on. We need to appreciate this. It is great. It's been so depressing the yeah. last few it's days. It's good. There's a bit of blue sky. I mean, I mean, this is this is August. Though. It's supposed to be red but hot. This is the best of it. Oh, this is us. bad. Isn't I know. It? <laughs> because we're like, yay! It's we could wear a sweater instead of a coat. But you know what? Everyone's like in this country, like bit of sunshine. We're oh, going to yeah. see people out in shorts. Yeah, people well, out I've in got vests. Shorts on. Have you? Yeah. Some look. Put some shorts, got my dinner oh, shorts my, Well, there oh, we go. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, great British summer, summer. Here we go. <laughs> um, I've also got some exciting news. Mm. 
So you know how we've been talking about um, merch? Yes. And obviously our Pale Rosé brand, which yes. we uh, revealed yesterday. Our Pale Rosé brand. <laughs> Not that we're getting ahead of ourselves. I mean, this is going to be a rea- reality, isn't it? This is definitely going to be a reality. So I got a message last night. Hang on, I'm on the wrong Instagram account here. Right. So this is from our friend Karen, right? Uh, where is it? So she said... Um, girls, I could do you a limited edition pale rosé candle. Now there's an idea. So she makes candles on the side. She does lots of things, Karen, but she makes candles on the side. And she sent another message. Oh my God, it will be called the Bowra candle. <laughs> Available in three fragrances. Pale rosé, which is pink and flowery. Mate, which is high end, like the posh end department store. Okay. And finally, feral, which is masculine and makes you think of a fit bloke. Right. <laughs> So, okay, this sounds exciting. This could be something nice for Christmas. I yeah. quite like the three different flavors. Again, our as stocking well. fillers. This is going to be great. This is great. Um, I said I'd give her candle business a little mention as well. It's Bell underscore Mason UK on okay. Insta. So, have a little look. So, there's a candle. So, we need to book in a meeting with Karen. Right. A business meeting to get the candles going. Um, Brilliant. We're going to be busy, mate. Oh, we're going to be millionaires. Oh, my God. Are we God. like, um, what's that? What is it? Only Fools and Horses, Rodney and. Tell boy, boy. Rodney. That's what it's we're like. Next year, <laughs> Waters, we're going to be millionaires. <laughs> For real. What's going to happen? Uh, yeah, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, right, what's going on in the world? So, we've talked a lot, haven't we, on this podcast about ageing. I'm turning oh, 40 God. this year. Yeah. You um, think you're in perimenopause. Yeah. So we've all been a bit like, we're getting older, <laughs> right? But something that I've noticed that's going to make us all feel a little bit better. Go okay? on. Have you seen Kate Beckinsale's 50th birthday? I have not. Mate, in fact, everyone, if you do one thing today, right, go and look at her Instagram page and look at her celebrations. It's been going on for probably the last two weeks, right? First of all, the first thing I've noticed, she looks incredible for 50. I don't know what she's putting on her face and in her body (laughs) or not putting in her body and not putting on her face, but she looks insane. I was literally like, there's no way she's 50. She looks probably 39, 40, I'd say. She looks younger than me. I'm going to say oh, she it. She does look banging, doesn't she? Doesn't she look insane? Like, can you actually believe she's 50? Is she actually? F- she's she actually 50. She's just turned 50. Oh my God. But oh. look at her birthday celebrations. They have been wild, right? Wild. And this seems to be a theme. So Jennifer Lopez, she turned 50, had a bit of a wild 50. And there's someone else, I can't remember who it was. But this seems to be the thing, right? Everyone's saying that 50 is the new 21. So everyone's going all out for their 50th birthdays. How, how is she 50? May. How is that? I do not know. But I was thinking, are these pics filtered? Then I started watching the videos and I thought, no, God damn it, they're not. I mean, ugh, look, listen, she looks great. There's definitely work being done there. Oh, she's had work. But she still looks what great. What does she actually she? do? So she was an actress. She was in Pearl Harbor, wasn't she? What else has she done, though? Uh, I don't know. I don't know well, what film she's been in. Happy birthday and i'm love look through her outfits later on like she looks great yeah. she's just gone wild and i'm here for it Come i'm on, feeling girl. like i want my 40th birthday to be a bit like this now i was thinking it might be a bit chilled but no i think oh, i'm okay. gonna go wild we're gonna have a few parties i think yes that's what are. you do you have yes. like a nice you know chilled high end yes then you have just a messy wild party and i think it will go on for nothing short of a month <laughs> okay be, beware in november <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> Right, mate, pale rosé. Many people very excited for us about this pale rosé. I'm, I'm, I am slightly worried we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves here because we're basically like, next year, not only are we going to live in the south of France. <laughs> With a vineyard. <laughs> we have our own brand of pale rosé. It's going to be stocked everywhere. We started literally selling it yesterday to people we saw. Yeah, everyone we see now, we're like, would you buy a bottle? <laughs> would you stock it in your pub? <laughs> well, Adam from Twy Cross Zoo messaged us and he went, we need to talk about this pale rosé brand on Friday. We're like... Would you, would you have some? Oh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Adam would definitely have some. He loves a pale rose. Yeah, yeah. He? Think of the amount of people we could flog it to. I know. This is so exciting. We've had so <laughs> many messages, haven't we, as well? Because yesterday we put a thing on our Insta at the Laura and Becky show just saying, um, help us come up with a name. Yeah. Because we're not going with Bowra anymore no. because David the wine man didn't like it, basically. So we've gone right off it since then. Yeah. So we need help with a name. So um, I think I need to connect to the Bluetooth, actually. Oh, okay. Hang on. 
Um, bear with, guys. Bear, bear with, te- with tech difficulties. I've forgotten how to do this. Oh, here we go. You disconnect. Um, um, I basically got some really <laughs> good messages through from Pete, who's the personal stylist at Medahall, who we love, don't we? He's such a lovely guy. Yes, there you go. It should be connecting to you. Okay. Me. So he, um, I mean, he really did a lot of research into a name for our Pale Rosie. Okay, I've not heard these. So what he did, he um, st- he went online and started combining our names. So a little bit like Bower. Right. He started putting our names and it came up with words that came up with our two names put together. Amazing. Didn't even know you could do that on the internet. Right. Anyway. Um, let me just check this is the right message. So he came up with one. I mean, he came up with loads. We're not going to play them all. So this is the one that was his favourite. Let me just check it's the right one. Okay. The Laura and Becky Show, sponsored by Arabelle Buckley Rosé. There's more. I only drink Arabelle Buckley by the Laura and Becky Show. Arabelle Buckley? Have you tasted that rosé? It's Arabelle Buckley. <laughs> Mate, and get this one. <laughs> Hang on. Is this oh the one? Oh, my God, I love it. And just check if this is the one. Uh, drink Angel. Oh, goodness, no. That's for the plebescence. I drink Arabelle Buckley. It's the <laughs> only thing to drink in 2023. <laughs> I mean, there are so could many that, that voices could be our advert, him. couldn't it? If we have it, have, like, radio adverts, that could be it. Arabelle Buckley. I mean, I quite like it. Yeah, that, is, that is a strong contender. Isn't it? I yeah. think it's the way he it's, says it. It's like he's really <laughs> sold it to us, you know? Uh, oh, my God. Arabelle Buckley. What, what is that? An, a, a, what do you call it? Not a synonym. What is that? A thingy of our name? An anagram? Yeah, it could be. I mean, literally, look, he's really done his research. Oh he sent lots of things God. through with our two <gasps> names together. Wow. I mean, lots of voice notes. In fact, let me just play this first one. This is him kind of, it goes on a little Stuff bit. Stuff like this. And so I got on the anagram and I jumbled up both your names. And um, Barclays, mm, to obviously too bankish. No. Barclay, no. Buckley, Buckley Rosé, very gorgeous, very posh. Um... <laughs> Blacker, no, I don't like that. Unless it's like a brumbly rose, rose buckler, no, too swashbuckly, (laughs) corkier. Ooh. Mm, okay, very obviously corky, very wine esque, curable. That we're gonna will sell a lot of rose, oh. but will it cure anything? I don't think so. You're going to get hangovers with this, curably. No. So I think my favourite from the anagram is Buckley. Okay. And then yes, he but... goes on to get the Arabelle before that. So, I mean, I appreciate his effort. That, thank you. Yeah. I yeah. mean, like we said, you you know, no royalties, nothing, but thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll delete this pod where you've come up with the idea. <laughs> we'll delete it when we become famous. <laughs> Um, having a look on Instagram, I love how much effort he's put in. Um, not, I am, and I'm not slagging these off, right? But someone's come up with Becklaw. <laughs> Oh, who, name and shame. No, I can't. Who, no. Who's come up with that? You know who you are. Oh, that's, but, that's and actually, I don't think we even know them. So it's really awful, but <laughs> make an effort. Come that, on, love. That's terrible. <laughs> that's something we'll come up with. Yeah, I mean, come on. That's, <laughs> that's bad. That is bad. Okay, the next one um, from Nikki says, Dear you. De- dear you. As dear in like, you. dear you. I don't like that one. I'm Isn't sorry. that from I'm sorry, um, you? Isn't that from you? That, I don't know. Anyway. Don't get it. Thank you, Nikki. Yeah, yeah but thank you. Yes. Um, Jody blushing. Okay, I don't mind that. Again, no. <laughs> it's a no from Laura. Okay, Laura, uh, spellbound. Mm, no. Mm. <laughs> Are we being really harsh? <laughs> Lorraine. We met Lorraine actually for the first time. She came to our event. She won. She won the. You remember Lorraine? Yes. Becky and La Rose. Yeah. <laughs> we're so we're really harsh wait for the next one I feel one. like we're Dragon's Dead wait I feel for like the next we're one. the judges the Laura and Becky bottle right guys <laughs> do you know what are you taking the piss where's the effort here guys there is none it's taken you 30 Becklaw? one second to come up with that Becklaw the Laura and Be- what was that last one what was that last one the Laura and Becky show Rose no Guys, come on. Um, there's more. Do you want more? I don't, no, I don't know if I do. Faye, Summer Haze. I don't mind that. 
well Faye well done <laughs> and actually she's put some effort in there because it's both of our surnames oh I didn't even realise that she oh, right do you yeah. know what Faye that's going down F again no royal capital E I like I like that summer hey well, I'm sure yeah I like that okay, well done um oof, and it goes back downhill again Becra Becra <laughs> Okay, next. And then um, Joe has put, what the hell's happened to Baura? Joe, I like didn't Baura. obviously listen to the pod yesterday. She liked Baura. See, Joe, I quite liked Baura as I well. Think it's, I do and I don't. I like all the R's. It sounds like a beer. Baura. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you could do it softer, like Baura. Baura. Baura, the essential pill of rosé. Oh, no, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe I've gone off. Anyway, edge, listen, but... keep your suggestions coming. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, get ready for a battering from us too, because we're not going to take any prisoners with this. We are going to give you our honest opinion, as you've just heard. But thank you. Like, Well, I think Arabelle Buckley from Pete is our favourite so far. And also Summer Haze from... Summer Haze is great. Yeah. Um, the rest... Sorry, guys. It's a, it's yeah. a no from us. You turn around and get in that lift. It's That's a, what they do, isn't it? It's a hard no. But keep them coming, though. Yeah, what was it? Sir Alan Sugar says, you're fired. You're... <laughs> 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 but keep them coming guys oh also as well really quickly quick last day to enter our competition with twice cross zoo get to our insta at the laura and becky show get entering 